Hello, I'm Lisa Gent of Lisa Gent Handcrafted Jewelry here in Cape Elizabeth, Maine. And hmm, how did I come to be a jeweler? Um, yeah, I sort of evolved into becoming a jeweler, I would say. It wasn't my first profession. I was an environmental educator for many years, but I have always, always loved um, working with my hands and I've always, always been creating something. Um, I, um, you know, as a kid, I was always making and, and building stuff. I was always really attracted to finding things, treasures, yes, the shiny objects, <laughs> um, and putting things together and actually even like adorning myself. I, I think jewelry um, serves so many purposes. Um, it, it really allows us to distinguish ourselves in many ways from others. It can be a remembrance. Um, jewelry can be part of a commemorative event, um, a sign of love, a symbol of love, a symbol of giving. Um, but really, jewelry allows us to distinguish ourselves in a way from others. And I actually find that really fascinating. Um, and I love creating pieces that are individualistic, that are handmade and creative, but, but very wearable. So, yeah, I guess I kind of fell into jewelry about 20 years ago. Um, yeah, and COVID has definitely changed things. It's certainly, of course, it's changed things for all of us. Um, but from a business standpoint, I've really lost a personal connection and that has been probably the hardest part. Um, I really thrive on um, a personal co connection, both professionally and creatively from being with people, whether it be my peers, um, clients, just the whole, the whole world out there. And I miss that a lot and trying to figure out how to continue to have and keep those connections um, has been really important. Uh, it's interesting, in the beginning of COVID, um, I used a lot of the time to create pieces and work on ideas that I've had for a long time that I really never felt like I had the time to do. So that actually felt like a real positive. Uh, but of course, as time has gone on and the financial situation has kicked in uh, a little harder, um, with all those shows canceled for this year, you know, shops and galleries, museums are either still closed or, um, you know, revenues are down so significantly. It's really made me look at my business model and my, my plan going forward and what that entails and, and how I will pursue the business, um, you know, in the coming years. So there's, it, and in a good way, it's, it's, opened, it's opened things up to see what I can do better. So that would be the positive side. Uh, all right. Thank you, everyone. And um, be well. And take care.